Hello everybody, welcome back. We are on level five of lesson 11 with CSS classes. Um, we have three activities to work our way through, so let's get started. We're gonna start with um, activity A, using classes, your favorite month. Let's see what we got. Uh, it says, your favorite month. This page lists information on the different months of the year. Do this. Create a class for your favorite month so that it looks different from the others. Create a new rule set for your favorite month and use at least three properties to style it. Okay, um, so we have months of the year. Did you know that the word month comes from the word moon? That's because a month is based on how long it takes the moon to go through a full cycle. Every year has 12 months and each one has its own name with a special meaning. So we have January. January is the first month and has 31 days. It is named after the Roman god Janus, who is the god of beginnings. That makes a lot of sense because that's how we begin every year. February. February is the second month, but the first hardest to spell. Why the extra R? February. Another confusing thing about February is that it is sometimes has 28 days and sometimes 29. It means purification in Latin. March. March is named after Mars, the god of war. That may seem random, but a long time ago, this was about the time of year when the Romans would start getting ready for war, since no one was supposed to go to war in the winter. April. April is a mystery month because it's not clear where the name came from. It might be named after a goddess, but it also just might mean opening, because spring is when all the flowers start to open up. It used to have 29 days, but then Julius Caesar added one, so it has 30. May. May is named after Maya, the goddess of growing plants, and lots of people think about growing flowers in May. One fun fact about May is that it never starts on the same day or ends on the same day as any other month in a particular year. June. June is named after Juno, the goddess of marriage. So many people have their weddings in June. There's also a bug called a June bug that starts crawling up from the ground around June. July. July is named after Julius Caesar. The Roman Senate named it after him because he was such a great general and he was born then. Before that, it was just named Quintilius because it used to be the fifth month of the year. August. August was also named after a famous general, Augustus. He took this month because it was when he was most victorious in battle. Before then, or before that, it was named Sextilius, or Sextilis, because it was the sixth month, September. September is the first of the modern months that is named after numbers. Sept means seven, and it used to be the seventh month of the year, before January and February existed. October. Now the month names start to get boring. October just means eight to follow after September. One interesting fact is that there was just a space with no months where January and February used to be. November. November means nine, even though it is the 11th month. A random fact because these month names are getting boring is that the Roman week was eight days long. There were 38 weeks in a year, but that didn't include the space that later became January and February. December. December is the last month. It means 10. It used to be that the Romans had 10 months in every year, so I guess they were on to the metric system a long time ago, except it doesn't actually work because the moon actually has 12 cycles every year. All right, so now that we know a little bit about all the different months, I'm going to pick July because I was born in July. So, you know, let's celebrate that. All right, we're going to go to July. I'm going to say class equals, and we're just going to say best, because July is the best month. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go to the paragraph. I'm going to press space and control V again. All right, so now we can't see anything because we haven't done anything yet. So let's go into the style.css. Here's our comment that tells us where to go. So create a new rule set for your favorite month and use at least three properties to style it. All right, so we're going to press enter and I'm going to do period, July, curly cues, enter. All right, so let's start with color. Color, um, Hmm. I feel like red. I don't know why. I just I'm feeling it. I don't know why. We're just gonna do that. All right. So let's see. Refresh and save. Does that do anything? Hmm. It does not. Oh, you know why? Because I said best, not July. Oops. 
There we go. Best. There we go. All right. So we have one. Let's do a border. And this one's going to be solid. All right. Uh, border color is going to be. Ooh, do we have gold? We do have gold. There we go. All right. And then we're going to say background color can be, you know, I, I kind of like this antique white. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. All right. I'm feeling it. That's not bad. It is very July-ish. Um, so there we go. We got um, do, to, cat. We have four different things that differentiate this uh, month from all the others, which is one more than we actually needed. Um, so I'm going to press the orange finish button and we're going to go to the B activity. Uh, so we're going to debug classes. Let's see what this has for us. It says debug the four seasons. This page has a separate class for each of the four seasons. Uh, but the autumn class isn't working. Do this. Find the bug in the autumn class and fix the code so that the class makes the text a darker or makes the text a dark red. So we have winter, spring, summer, and autumn. Oh, do you see winter is blue, spring is green, summer is yellow, and autumn is not. All right, so we're going to go to style. Let's figure out what's going on here. Up. Oh, I see it already. Autumn is misspelled. So autumn should be A-U-T-U-M-N. And as soon as we fix that, dur, 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 there we go. The color is a nice fire brick. All right. Well, that was super easy. That's all we had to do. So we're going to press the orange finish button. And let's head over to the third activity, debug image classes. Oh, this will be fun. So debug image classes, trying to close this. Uh, each group of images should have a slightly different style for their borders. It looks like there are multiple bugs with the classes for these images preventing this from happening. Do this, look through both the HTML and the style sheet to find and fix all the bugs. Okay. All right, oh, we got some really nice pictures. So we have Egypt, we have Greece, we have Japan, okay. All right, so we have we have Egypt. All right. We have Greece. All right, we have Japan. All right, Greece is misspelled, but let's see how they spelled it in the style. Maybe that was intentional. All right. Uh-huh. Nope. So Egypt needs a capital E. I saw that. All right. Egypt's good. We got the border now. Uh, Japan needs a capital J and it needs a period. So let's see. All right. That one's good. And then Greece uh, is spelled correctly on this one. So let's go back and spell it correctly on this one. So instead of Grise, it should be Greece. And then Greece. Ooh. And then Greece. If I did that correctly, da -da -da -da, all three of them fit. Okay. So that was easy. We added uh, one mistake over here. We had two mistakes over here. All of it is fixed and looks good now. So we are going to press the orange finish button. And now we are done with level five. Well done. Give yourself a high five. And I will see you on level six. Here we go.